Hi kids, welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today we're reading Sleeping Beauty. Chapter five, here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Prince John had just made it to the sleeping castle. Now, let's go save the princess. Prince John wandered the castle looking for Briar Rose's room, which as it turns out, wasn't too difficult. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right. Prince John opened the door. You might imagine something like this happened next. My prince, my one true love. Marry me. Oh, so cute. But what really happened is this. Uh, hey, Briar Rose. Um, I think I'm supposed to wake you up. I mean, I don't mean to sound presumptuous or anything, but I might be your true love. It's destiny or something. Um, I guess I'll wait here until you wake up. I'm sorry. This is really awkward. I'm just going to wait outside. Woo! I'm okay. <laughs> that was so funny. <gasps> what was that? Sorry, uh, I just fell. <laughs> Briar Rose, you're awake. Who are? <gasps> you're my prince from the dreams. Huh? You dreamed of me? Yeah. Wait, am I awake or is this another dream? Oh, please, please, pretty, please tell me I'm really awake. You're really awake. And she was. Sleeping Beauty was no longer sleeping. Her true love had awakened her by being clumsy and noisy. How romantic. Yay, I'm so happy. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait, what year is it? How long was I out for? Did you hear me snoring? Oh gosh, do I have drool on my face? Please tell me I don't have drool on my face. All good. Thank goodness. <laughs> so, you broke the spell, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm apparently your one true love. I mean, if it's okay with you. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I already know everything about you. This is so weird, but cool. But just as the two lovebirds were getting to know each other, they heard a very odd noise. What is that? It sounds like an airplane. Okay, but what is that? Oh, <laughs> I, I guess those were invented after you were cursed. It's a thing you can fly around in. Oh, what? Cool. Wait, how long was I asleep? Like, almost a full hundred years. Wow, that is so cool. So I'm really, like, over a hundred years old? <laughs> is my hair gray? No, it's brown. Um, <laughs> I think we should be more focused on that noise, because it sounds like it's coming right this way. I'm okay. Oh, hello, Briar Rose. You're up. Who are you? It's the bad fairy. We have to run. Oh, oh. Oh, my legs are asleep. I can't move. Uh, watch out. I am Grimsley, the greatest fairy of evil, and I curse you. But before she could finish her curse, Briar Rose said, Pull me out of here. Hey, where'd they go? Once they got out of the castle, Briar Rose tried to wake up the rest of her body. Better? Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. Because <laughs> it's time to run. Where are we going to go? I don't know. But wherever they ran, Grimsley was going to follow. And she was working up her worst curse yet. A curse? Oh, no. Let's keep reading. Chapter 6. Here we go. Wiggle, snap, story time. Briar Rose and Prince John were on the run from the bad fairy Grimsley. Only problem was they didn't know where to go. So they kind of just ran around freaking out. Ah! Meanwhile, since the 100 years of sleeping spell had been broken, the rest of the castle was waking up. We're awake. Hurrah! But the hurrahs stopped when they found that Briar Rose was not in her room. Where's the princess? <gasps> the princess is missing. That's when, rather conveniently, the good fairies arrived. Grand Fairy and Sparkle were exhausted from flying all over, trying to undo Grimsley's mischief. But they had a job to do, and good fairies never give up. Aw, that is so nice. So we have some good news and some bad news. Good news is the spell has been broken. Yay! But the bad news... What are they doing? Oh, Grimsley cursed them and took their voices. They're trying to tell you the bad news. Which is that Grimsley is planning another curse. And we're not sure what she's going to do. 
but it's probably very, very, very bad. Oh no, she must have taken Briar Rose. Don't worry, we'll find her. Let's go, gang. Back in the forest, Briar Rose and Prince John had found what they thought was a great hiding spot. Let's just hang out here for a bit and maybe Grimsley will just give up and leave. But that proved to be wishful thinking because guess who showed up? Oh no, run! Hey guys, what's up? Are we playing hide and seek? <laughs> yep, Grimsley had found them. Not good. Hmm, let's see. What sort of evil spell should I cast? I could turn you into frogs. That's always fun. Oh, or how about I turn Briar Rose into a frog and Prince John into a fly? And then Briar the frog will eat John the fly. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, no thanks. Oh, I could turn you into donkeys. Have people, have horse, maybe turn you into statues. Oh, I know. I won't turn you into anything at all. You won't? No. I'll turn myself into... A dragon? Ah, this is scary. What are we gonna do? Uh, I don't know, run? Okay, maybe not. Fortunately, help was on the way. The good fairies were flying at top speed on the hunt for Grimsley, ready to stop her in her evil tracks. Uh oh! Uh, what's our plan again? Find Grimsley and trap her in this bag. Yeah, I think we'll need a bigger bag. I have an idea. Follow me. The good fairies flew right at Grimsley's face. You know, the one that was breathing fire at everyone? Usually not a good idea, but... Pixie Glitter, now! Hey, get out of here! I can't see! Ow! I burned myself! Well, maybe you should stop breathing fire! Never! Ow! Ha! You're in trouble, villain! Give it up, Grimsley! You're a thief! Yeah, Prince John and Briar Rose have true love. They broke the spell. Yeah, love wins. This was like a poison to Grimsley. Bad fairies do not like love. Ugh, gross. Don't invite me to the wedding. Don't worry, you're not going anywhere. Except fairy jail. Is that a thing? We'll figure it out. The important thing was that the day was saved. Grimsley was defeated and forced to undo all her evil spells. Twinkles and Buttercup got their voices back and the Enchanted Kingdom was awake and happy. Normally, we'd say that this was a happy ending, but since Briar Rose and John only just met, let's call this one a happy beginning. That was such a great ending. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>